Hello, my name is Mac McBride. I'm Director of Delivery Services for UK and Ireland at Third Era, and I'm also a Certified Master Architect. Thanks for joining me for a rundown of some of the most valuable updates that come out with ServiceNow's highly anticipated Vancouver release. The following list has been curated and endorsed by our extensive team of Certified Master Architects. This video spotlights the features which can be leveraged to elevate your ServiceNow platform the most. Here are the top nine in 90 seconds. Formerly called Vendor Risk Management, third-party risk management provides a holistic approach to managing all domains of third-party risks. Employee Growth and Development has integrated a manager hub to increase manager self-service and proactive engagement with their teams. Leverage indoor mapping capabilities from workplace service delivery to visualize and manage enterprise asset locations. Use the Access Analyzer to diagnose security restrictions, including those applied via Center of Excellence security policies within HR service delivery. Set goals, assign activities and monitor cost savings with a workspace dedicated to tracking hardware asset program success. This feature enables customer service agents and managers to view, customize and share dashboards through landing pages. Jeopardy Management is a risk assessment tool that monitors fulfillment tasks, assesses the risk levels and alerts fulfillment managers when a task time is in jeopardy. By showing recently used applications, this update simplifies application scope switching when working in HR service delivery and employee service center. Manage, edit and implement portal themes in an easy, efficient and upgrade safe way so you can reflect your company's brand. And there you have it. Those are nine of Vancouver's game-changing updates in just 90 seconds. For the full scoop of all the new and enhanced features, grab our 90-page Vancouver release guide linked in this video. With detailed analysis and insights, it has everything you need to determine your optimal upgrade time. Thanks for listening.